the degree of cerebral tissue saturation in heart failure has been proven to reflect functional capacity and disease severity, and has potential prognostic value. Data monitoring during excess testing has clinical value. Cerebral tissue oxygen saturation measured by NIRS is simple and convenient. This protocol integrated NIRS into conventional CPAT to increase the value of an excess testing in patients with heart failure. Demonstrating the procedure will be Yu Zhen Liu, a technician from my laboratory. To begin this procedure, clean the patient's forehead twice with an alcohol pad to remove sweat and dirt from the skin. Obtain large NIRS sensors in which the distance between the emitter and the detector is 5 centimeters, and place the sensors on the forehead bilaterally. Ensure that the sensors are securely attached. Next, apply EKG electrodes to the anterior chest, bilateral acromioclavicular joints, and low back. Have the patient sit on the bicycle ergometer and place the armband of the sphygmomanometer on them. Then, wear the mask of gas analysis for the patient. Place the sensors for the pulse oximeter on the patient's index finger. First, tell the patient to rest for at least two minutes to obtain a stable baseline value, including the cerebral tissue oxygen saturation and respiratory exchange ratio. Next, have the patient complete the warm-up stage on the cycle ergometer at a work rate of 10 watts for one minute.